Hi, my name is Christian Hernandez, your GitOps kingpin over at Acuity, the enterprise Argo company created by the founders of the Argo project. In this video, I'm going to be going over a config management plugin crash course. Hopefully by the end of this video, you'll be more familiar with config management plugins and how they can be used in your environment. Now, Argo CD has native support for configuration management tools. These tools are Helm and customized out of the box. But what if you want to use a different configuration management tool, or you want to do some sort of post rendering after you've downloaded your YAMLs? Well, that's something that you're going to need to use the config management plugin tool for, or the CMP. So the CMP at basic level allows you to use your own custom config management tool or add an extend support for existing tools to Argo CD. For example, if you want to use something like Helm file or Carvel's YTT, or if you want to use some your own custom tool to be, do some post rendering, then a CMP is something you're going to want to use. Now, the only caveat for using a CMP or your own custom tool inside of a CMP is that the end result has to be a Kubernetes manifest or something that Kubernetes understands. As long as that, that uh, criteria is met, you'll be able to use anything in your configura configuration management plugin. So how does that look like? Let's take a look at the documentation real quick. So now, um, there are two types of uh, configuration management plugins. Um, there's the sidecar plugin and the configuration map plugin or the config map plugin. In this video, we're gonna focus on the sidecar plugin because as you can see here, uh, the config map plugin is deprecated and we're removed in future versions. So we're gonna ignore that for, for now. So now there's two steps to get your configuration plugin uh, set up. First, you need your plugin configuration file. Now there's three main sections that you're gonna need to fill out for your configuration management plugin configuration file. Um, but before I go into that, I do have to note that although this looks like a Kubernetes CRD, it's not a Kubernetes CRD. It's just the uh, Argo CD uh, uses the same uh, uh, format and syntax um, in order to keep everything consistent. But this is something that is only understood by the uh, Argo CD API. Now, the three main sections that you need to uh, be familiar with is first the init section. So the init section is, as you can probably guess, um, something that runs first or something that runs that is needed by your uh, by the generate section, which we'll go over next. So this is something that um, that isn't typically included in uh, in your container or in the sidecar. Um, this is typically used to download uh, binaries or any other supporting tools that you may need. The next section is the generate command. So now the generate command, uh, this is where your uh, custom configuration tool is ran. So this is where you run something like Helm file or uh, running your own custom script. Uh, again, um, as long as the output is a valid YAML file or, or a valid um, manifest that Kubernetes understands, you can pretty much do what you want in the generate section. Next is the discover section. So the discover section is where um, what indicates the um, Argo CD repo server um, um, when to run this uh, plugin. So now you may or may not want um, to run this plugin every for every uh, Argo CD application. You may want to only run it for uh, a set or a subset of Argo CD applications, and this is where you'd run it. Right? You can have um, you can you can say in the discover section look for these files or these group of files or these kinds of files. Um, you can add some sort of flag file um, to, indi to indicate to the Argo CD repo server to run the plugin. Um, it could be pretty much what you'd like. It's basically is, is, is a way to control when this plugin is ran. So now that you have your configure management plugin set up, you need to, um, you need to add it to the sidecar. So how do you do that? Well, one is create your own image and add the uh, configuration management tool inside the image. As long as uh, it's in this directory and you add it to that directory, you should be good to go. A more elegant solution is actually create a config map and, ma and mount that config map inside the sidecar. 
So now that you have your configuration management plugin, a YAML file, then you have to register it uh, to the plugin uh, sidecar. You do that by basically uh, patching the Argo CD repo server and um, adding your, uh, your sidecar information there. So um, some of the, a few things you need to call out. The sidecar needs to have this entry point, right? This entry point, um, this binary doesn't have to be inside the container that you, that you created. Um, you can use what they call an off the shelf container like BusyBox, right? Um, because you're gonna be mounting certain things into the sidecar. For first, you'll be mounting the var run which is where the, the binary is, which is why you don't need to include it in your sidecar. And, um, and also uh, the plugins, any plugins um, that, um, that is available to the Argo CD repo server. And also um, in this case, the config uh, management plugin YAML file that, that I showed you earlier also needs to be mounted so it can be read, so you can read. Um, a few things to note here is that you need to run as user 999 because that's the user that the Argo uh, CD repo server runs under. So now that you have those two things, you put those together and um, you should be able to run your config management plugin. So let's look at an example. Here, I have a very, very basic config management plugin uh, named CMP plugin. Um, it's, a, it's a config map. Um, I'm adding it to the Argo CD namespace and I'm adding those three sections that are required. First, the init. Uh, again, the init could be anything like downloading a binary or any support tools that is needed by the uh, config management uh, tool that you're choosing. In this case, I'm just gonna echo that I'm initializing. Uh, next, I'm gonna be doing um, the generate command. This generate command, I am just echoing um, uh, a, a config map configuration file that gets applied to the cluster. Again, um, I can do whatever I like here. Uh, in this case, I'm doing a shell command, but as long as it produces a valid Kubernetes object, I can pretty much do what I like here. A lot of people, this is where you are running things like Helm file, uh, Helm file template, or any, um, any sed command, um, or any other post rendering tools that you may need, as long as the end result, again, is a valid Kubernetes object. And here at Discover, I am, um, setting um, a main.go file here uh, for my repo. This is specific to my repo. Uh, the, um, the flag file to run this plugin could be anything you'd like. It could be a specific YAML file. It could be a specific um, uh, uh, YAML or a flag file that you may wanna put into the repo to, to signal for this plugin to run. Um, so let's take a closer look at the generate field that I add. I am echoing a, um, a valid Kubernetes manifest. Um, I have an, a sample of what it's echoing here in YAML format. And as you can see, it's echoing uh, these environment variables. So now an important thing to note about your config management plugin is that you have environment variables um, available to you. Um, you can look that up in the um, Argo CD build environment um, um, documentation page. And this kind of tells you what's available to you. Things like the Argo City app name that was called, the, um, the source path in the Git repo, the, uh, the repo URL, um, Kubernetes versions, and things like that. Also what's available to me is something called the Argo City environment, which I'll go over in a second. So now, um, now that I have my config management plugin um, configuration all set up. I now I have my patch ready for the Argo CD repo server. So things like, again, I'm just using off the shelf Alpine, um, Alpine image. I am using um, this as the entry point or the command to run. Um, I'm mounting the required um, volume mounts that is needed for the plugin. Specifically, I'm gonna call out the plugin uh, sorry, the um, the plugin.yaml file that I am um, that I am mounting via the config map that I just created. So that is available inside the image. Now that all that is set up, I can do an Argo CD application. So the Argo CD application just is a normal application. It is 
um, and you know, you put in, there's really nothing special about the ap application, the Argo CD application manifest here, except for, I do want to call in the plugin environment. So now notice how it says Argo CD, uh, underscore ENV underscore something, right? That underscore score something is how you set this, right? So then, um, you can set up specific plugins, um, environment variables and you can pass those on to your config management plugin. In this example, I am setting foo um, equal to bar, and this will come through as Argo CD underscore underscore env underscore foo, right? So whatever you add as your key, it'll be, um, you'll see it'll attach that um, to the Argo, Argo CD underscore env uh, environment variable. So then now when, um, when I create this um, config map, I am able to um, um, see all this information that is available to me. So let's get this up and running. How does that look like? Well, I have here a running um, Argo CD installation. Um, right now, it is a uh, is an empty um, Argo CD installation with nothing in it. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, apply the config map. So this config map is going to get applied. So let's uh, do this. Now that's created. I can see it here. Um, CMP plugin. As you can see, I have these uh, the configuration here as I showed you before. So next, I'm going to patch the repo server. So now that I applied that, I can patch the repo server, uh, showing um, adding the sidecar and the uh, config management plugin YAML file. So uh, for this, I have to do uh, the patch command. For the Argo CD uh, repo server. And the patch file is going to be So that got patched. So I can see here, Argo CD. Notice that the repo server now is uh, restarting because I have patched it. Now, um, now that I patched that, now I'm going to apply my Argo CD um, um, application, um, specifying the plugin. Um, sorry, specifying um, the plugin environment. Um, of foo equals bar, so you can see that 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 gets created. So let's do that. Now that's created, that notice how this repo here is um, just a basic Go application, right? There's no YAML in here, but I'm just using the main dot Go as an indication. Um, and it created uh, this. Um, the C um, the config the config map that I that I ran so um, the config map in the uh, in the generate command so let's take a look at that this is plugin demo and you can see here that under data. Uh, I get Argo CD revision, it gives me the revision, gives me the path, gives me the repo URL, and here environment foo equals bar, the cube API versions, and the cube versions, everything that I had in the, uh, in, in everything that I echoed out got rendered. So now you can see here that every time that this runs, it's going to look for, um, it's going to look for uh, this flag file here. Once it does that, it'll run uh, the generate command, which is in my case is going to be it's going to um, echo this out and add it to my cluster, which it did here. Now this could be anything you'd like. It doesn't. You don't have to echo out a static YAML file. You can do something like a post render. You can do a Helm Helm file template and uh, said some things, um, use Carvel's YTT. 
anything inside of a plugin as long as at the end result you get a, a Kubernetes manifest. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it very useful and are able now to wrap your head around config management plugins. Thank you.